Welcome to iLector Online. You may have wondered how many people are there that have an IQ above 130? Well, if we have the normal distribution represented here with a mean of 100, that means that on average, the average person would have an IQ of 100 with a standard deviation of 10, how many people would there be that have an IQ of 130 or above? In other words, we're looking for the percentage of the area underneath the normal distribution curve beyond the point x equals 130. All right, again, how to do that is to find the z-score, the standard score. All right, so how do we do that? Well, let's see here. We use this equation right here to find z, and z equals 130 minus the mean of 100 divided by 10, that means that z is equal to 30 divided by 10, which is equal to 3. So once we know the standard score, the z-score, now we pick up our table right here. We go down the table right here until we find z equals 3.0. We don't have to go across because 3.0, it's not 3.01 or 3.02. And it tells me here that it's 0.49865. So a z equals 3 corresponds to a 0 0.49865. What does that mean? Well, that means that the area between the mean and that point right here, this area, between those two points right there, represents 49.865% of the total area. Now, of course, the whole area is 100%, 50% on the left, 15% on the right, and of that 50% on the right, 49.865% lies between here and here, which means that over here, this percentage would be 50% minus 49.865%, and of course that will be equal to 0 0.135%. So a little bit more than one-tenth of one percent of all the people have an IQ of 130 of above. So how many people is that? That's one out of how many? Hmm. So how do we do that? Well, we can turn that equation around. So what we can do is we can say that 0.135% is equal to 0.00135. And now if we take the inverse of that number, and of course for that we need a calculator. So I plug in the number 0.00135, and then I take the inverse of that number, that means we have 1 in the inverse of that number, which is 0 0.00135, which means it's 1 out of 741 people have an IQ of 130 and above. And so that's how we can use that to find the area underneath a normal distribution curve between any two points or above some, above some limiting point or below some limiting point. You can figure out anything you want in that curve by using this equation, by using the Z standard score, and by then you looking at table, using a lookup table to find the corresponding percentage representing the area need to curve between any two points on the curve. And that is how it's done. They say Einstein's 160. Einstein was 160? Doesn't surprise me. Wow, so where does that put him? That's six standard deviations. Let's do that in the next video. <laughs> Let's try to figure out what, where Einstein would fall. One out of how many are as smart as Einstein. That should be interesting.